pop music. You can be sure of independent. I'm going to get you. I want you to steal me some gang cars so we can do some naughty thing on our enemy turf. I want me a Mafia Sentinel, a Yakuza Stinger, and a Diablo Inferno so we can hit up any gang in Liberty. Drop them off at the garage in Newport and hear this. They're no use to me all broke up now. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob? I'm Pine Creek. Well, I've been listening to your show. There's always no, things going on. Uh, I'm learning the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. And Creek taught him how to clean the bathroom. He left so much one hair on the stove and was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? He went to bed a hungry only 20, maybe 30 times. He learned. Now he brings his mother lunch in bed every day so she can sleep in. Let me tell you, everyone should have their kids serving up food. He even cooks for the whole family. These days, he's been in the city. And I hate the parents who are breaking them on 7 and he's making matches with 23 times. On weekends, he doesn't go to... Hell, he'd go to sleep during the day. That's another 8 grand right there. Now, I'm going to be a fast boat thriller. What do you say to that? That sounds kind of like exploitation to me. That's a story of a kid. Tell me. Tell me mine. He's my kid. How can I exploit something I own? Exploit me. You sound like a communist. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. Get the weight line for toilet paper. And their space station was made out of milk cream. I'll tell you, we're controlling the living in the American way. That and the only thing more American is that supposed to work for you. That sounds a little oppressive and even despotic. Exactly, but we hit the nail on the head that time. My kids, I'm telling you, shut the school down, make the kids work. That book is up all for sisters anyway. And doctors, and politicians, lawyers, and whatever. I, you know, I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel sorry for your little Johnny, the seven-year-old cook, chimney sweep paralegal photocopier because his daddy's an idiot. Let's take a quick break. Phil and I just had another kid, so of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football, and lacrosse practice, so we bought the new Maibatsu Monstras. Shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important things. Like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mob, not a conservationist. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? One delivery. Just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. Petsovernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name is Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my calls irrigated. I just wanted to say something about you. And, you know, you can read the Super Highway, the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know a lot about it. Isn't it amazing? Oh, I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap, but how can they be so dumb? It's remarkable. I can see them all the time. I mean, the thing you want to buy is what's your name, Leslie? I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I know, Leslie. I'm a regular visitor. Well, I don't. I buy things online, and then I just need to get the before that. I don't have to go out ever again. It's incredible. Watch it. I don't envy them because they just stop up. They earn them. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um, well, I want to see the Declaration of Independence. That's phenomenal. Probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. <laughs> Is this on the radio? I mean, am I 
am I actually on the radio for a second? Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man, I wouldn't want to, but I'll sit there. I could go on all day, but you know how it is, don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. Uh, what's your name? What do you call about? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm Maria, you know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. Oh, only different, you know, but, you know, men, M E N. What are you talking about? I, I, I'm ma- Interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up at Aaron. Come here! 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 Come here!
Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. My sister speaks highly of you, though I'm yet to be convinced that a guy Jin can offer anything but disappointment. Perhaps you could help deal with the situation that has me at a disadvantage. Of course, failure has its own disgrace. A Yakuza Kanbu is in custody awaiting transfer for trial. He is a valued member of the family. Break him out of custody and get him to the dojo at Bedford Point. I was a lunatic. Where did you dig him up from? The state we been? That wacko you had going on about killer bees? What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. Oh, well, it's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a stud like this. You can see their propaganda right into my brain. You want to get that? What's up? Take it down! Oh, 
It is impossible to overestimate the importance of etiquette in this line of work. To my eternal shame, a man once did me a favor, and I have never had the opportunity to repay his kindness. The man's weakness is mother cards, and he has requested that we acquire him certain models for his collection. Needless to say, we must give him the cards as a gift to repay the debt that I owe him. You must obtain the cards on this list and deliver them to a garage behind the car park in Newport. My honor demands it. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? <laughs> are you a sane caller? Absolutely not. No. Killer bees. K killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration does continue, we will all be dead in three years? You want to become a bee stepper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this bee. Killer bees swarming it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They are like sheep that are going to take over. All right, thank you. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is turn them up, put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against Phones. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, but how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. You have to record to carry your pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's, it, what's that in your hand? 
I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church account. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Potts, our personal injury attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, Concert and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should... on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky Meat Berry the Fun. Street puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. Okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But you're someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and... Castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you need microwave dinners? All the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home for you to go? Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning. You are. Don't you when trouble looms, the fool turns his back, while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! Look, is this leading anywhere? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo. You can't figure how it's going to be dangerous. We have won that first now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into the really understand the spiritual problem. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I didn't... <laughs> Alright dude, groovy, hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest growing US run media for Bravo and Honor Years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the US and the free world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, 
You can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest-growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast, and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? Well, I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in school. Gum, people showing disrespect to teachers, drugs. Schools are breeding grounds for crime, ain't they? Well, I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple solution. Shut them down. Shut down the schools and you shut down the problems. Just <laughs> single men in this city. To be truly strong, it is important that you never feel weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately so we can enter it into the casino accounts. Not really. I mean, what's your name? What did you call about? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm Maria. You know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. Only different, you know, but, you know, men. M-E-N. <laughs> oh, it's a dirty word. Only There's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcasts are all the same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you. You're always at a boys night. Whoa, whoa. whoa. What, what are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. No, it ain't dumb. You know more about men than I know about leopard skin furniture. So let's let Clever stuff and give me some advice. I mean, come on, I got real problems. You see, okay, I had this boyfriend, and at first, he was real kind to me. He was a real gentleman, a little bit older and everything, but yeah, he treated me really good. And you know, so, you know, I found someone else, and he seems real nice, but... Like me. Well, what do you insinuate? 
that he's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Jeff from Rock. Hello. I didn't tell you. pay you, and I wouldn't pay you if I could. Some young gang just tracked up the place. They took everything. You guys are useless. What kind of Yakuza are you anyway? So, what's this rally about, Jeff? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping a barrel. What kind of teacher are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? What the hell? If you do leave some, everybody, it'll be real good. All right, you ah! fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Do you have a question? Dude, I call every day and I... starts from the ground up. At Eris, we make high-quality footwear. In fact, you can find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Eris factories. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made it. Tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food 